Oh, oh, my left stick is. Oh yeah. You ever? Uh... Are we streaming? Yeah, yeah, we're streaming. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the stream. Well, I mean, you weren't doing it either. Well, I didn't even. I I didn't even know to start what's, recording what's yet because I was test, remember I was testing my mic. Oh. So now I'm streaming. I said been recording. That's now I'm good. recording. Oh. I I was not recording and now I am. Okay. Um, if we'll oh, remember here, uh, Snake's not doing so hot right now. He got only one eye. I think he's doing so hot right now. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely working for him. Uh, but I, he's probably not thrilled about it. Oh, here's something. Here's something to bring up. Last time we recorded, you mm, yum, yum. were clipping. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I fixed it. If you go and listen to oh, yeah, uh, episode part I'm 13, sure. part 13 of Metal Gear Solid on the YouTube, youtube.com slash run button, uh, you, you won't know that Kyle was clipping, but you were. Wow. Yeah. We're so impressed. Um, yeah, I did a pretty good well, job. Do I sound but... like I'm clipping right now? Well, that's why I brought it up. You did sound a little hot when you got loud okay. there. So you think I should lower something? Test, test. Yeah, I think you should lower test. something. I feel like I probably sound awesome. Voodoo person says everyone sounds good, I think. Oh, Joel's here. Hey, Joel. That's Joel from online. Joel from online. There's a lot of Joel's online. This is the main one. I'm not this familiar with one. that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this was the wrong button. Now I remember what I was doing. I was curing. Because I have food poisoning. How did you get food poisoning? You eat some bad food? Apparently, yeah. So last time we um, experienced the fear, we didn't... Oh no, no. Do any the, the fear neither did anything to us nor we to him. The fear. Is that correct? The fear? No. Was it not, was it no, not the fear? No, it was the sorrow. The sorrow. Oh. And well, who's the fear? The fear. Does this does these pants make him look like he has a front butt? <laughs> I think he has a front butt. <laughs> <laughs> is it the fucking I'm wait? Pretty sure he's got a front butt. <laughs> they, they accidentally put the butt on the front for this one. No, well, for sure that's a front butt. <laughs> <coughs> We're getting confirmation in the chat that it's the front butt. Yeah, Snake is famous for his luscious front butt. Um, yeah, you know what, back butt isn't really bringing it in this one no so it's in not. this game it's all about the front butt in this game it's all about the front butt <laughs> oh my god that's funny uh what the hell were we talking about oh the um, fear the fear the... was the shithead spider guy oh right the spider guy and then the sorrow was the ghost the ghost it was a boss fight and but... we double killed him because he was already dead but we killed him more so he's dead dead right he's, yeah double he's killed. double dead double killed um, and why did we fight that guy or not fight? Why did we because experience the sorrow? Because he's part of the Cobra unit that's trying to take me down. No, I mean, like, uh, what, what important thing were we on our way to do when we were stopped by the sorrow? Mission. What in, what is that again? Okay. Uh, so we learned general Vulgan and the Cobra unit. So it's, Kind of self fulfilling, like we right. encountered yeah, him sure. on our mission. On our, our way mission to is to encounter him. To find an encounter. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, although we talked to our squad oh, and they were like, he's been dead path. for 30 years. All right. Um, Let's get a. We'll go. Uh, you yeah, know, I can't remember if it was in the. To, that, that goat doesn't care about you at all. Hang on. Let me. How much food do I have? Oh, I'm low. Uh, you're, hey. you're oh, you're on your way to get your pack of stuff, right? Am I am I right in that? What? Yeah, your menu's full because you don't have your bag. You're on your way to get your bag. <sighs> they took your bag because you were a prisoner. We escaped from jail. 
Um, Delicious. Okay. You know what I should get? There was a comment that I wanted to read because it was something that we started to talk about the last time, uh, or the time before last that we recorded, I believe. And something came up and we didn't get a chance to finish the conversation. So I want to... I think it was on part 12. Yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't even have any CQC items. Uh, this was know. Ends of Invention on uh, YouTube said this and reminded me that, that we started to talk about this and got sidetracked. So wait, they built a tank to launch nukes specifically so it could yeah. launch from any terrain. Uh -huh. But the nukes but... were too big, so they put rocket boosters on the tank so it could now mm -hmm. launch nukes, but only from somewhere with a long, flat area of terrain where it could get up to speed. All And then the quote is, all you need is a runway with three miles in length. <laughs> so they... The... <laughs> The thing that this game By got the way, right flying, finally, I think you missed the flying squirrel on oh. screen. Uh, it was oh. pretty sweet. All right, I'll try to keep an eye out. You'll see it in the editing, I suppose. So the thing that this game has gotten What's right this? so far is, is that. Oh my uh, god, that's ooh, tree that grown a... corn cobs. Oh, I think it's a. It looks to me like a North American pawpaw. What? But, but it couldn't be because we're in Russia. Yeah, or Unless, something. Or are we? The, the, this is so unclear. Like, I think I saw recently somewhere on Wikipedia that it says, like, context clues, you know, make imply that the game takes place in Tajikistan, which, first of all, I don't know anything about. But Damn. then also there's parts of the game where they refer to, like, where I, I'm, like, almost certain they just refer to, like, this place as Russia, like the people living it in, in it as Russian countrymen or something. Well, Russia's pretty big. You can be in New York and the United States at the same time. But you can't... I mean, again, I don't know anything about Tajikistan or if it's a place that even still exists or what. Uh, probably not, I would imagine, since I haven't heard a, that name recently. Uh, but it's I, a landlocked I country in Central Asia. I would imagine it's not in Russia. It's bordered by Afghanistan to the south. Uzbekistan to the west, Kyrgyzstan to the north, and China to the east. Cool place. Yeah. I mean, it does Sounds make sense like because of the, the alligators. That must be that. That must be where. Oops. Um, oh, that must be the big thing. Why people are like, where does this take place? Because there's definitely no alligators in yeah, Russia. I, I, I guess crocodiles are the crocodiles in Russia. But they do, it does, we looked it up. We looked up a map of like where crocodiles are in an earlier episode. And it did extend like pretty close yeah, to the southern border of the Soviet Union. I, yeah, I still just think it's like... It was yeah, in, it's like it was it's like it became 20, part of 20 the... years of people trying to piece together clues to figure out the one real place this definitely happened in when I think we can just probably throw up our hands and admit that they just did a very convincing pastiche of a lot of things that don't actually end up in the same Well it place wasn't together. it was in the Soviet Union so it would make sense Chest There's always a secret behind the waterfall. Oh. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Uh, you could use a towel. So could you. I guess we're both just dripping wet here. 
Um, what else can you say? Casamok on in, in the chat says there's a codec that justifies why the crocodiles are there. Oh, they're my not God. native. They're lab escapees. Right. Of course. That's funny. Uh, also says the game's a little bit quiet. Okay, let me take a listen. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's believable. Um, for sure. Oh, this sounds like... Okay. No, well, Unless just, you already turned it up. Yeah, oh, okay. I already turned it up. Oh boy, I think this scene's gonna be pretty spicy. Is it because we put... Oh yeah, no, I thought maybe the snake was what was spicy. Want some? No, thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. Some people get French and Italian food and some people get snakes. <laughs> the least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. What? <laughs> what? Oh, she's the snake. Oh, and we're a whoa. tiny little mouse. What's going on? When Major. When over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw I've fish. heard about sushi, raw, but not really what it is. <laughs> It was <laughs> relatively new at this time. What a thrill. To the world? I believe sushi was invented in the 50s. Like people think it's like a it's like really old like traditional snake. food, but I'm pretty sure it's new. Thank you, Snake. Sushi traces its origins to the now. 2nd century of China. All right, well, there you go. Pretty recent. <laughs> uh, the earliest form. See, I I googled it because I had I've heard about this next thing. Uh, the earliest form of sushi, known as anara sushi, was created in Japan around the Iron Age. Ugh, can't believe this is happening on the screen. We're talking about sushi. It's so lame. Sorry. Yeah, let's watch the kiss. Wow, this is so passionate. <laughs> I can't. I'm a soldier. Don't worry about it. You don't even like eating snakes. You don't even like eating snakes. <laughs> it's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. She's a really? snake eater too, Keith. Good. There are two different kinds of snake eaters. Everyone's well. eating snakes in this game. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. Can't wait for the sequel. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? Whoa, cool rock. Cool rock. Is it for skipping? You could skip this so far. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's her heart of stone. I could the really Shagohat's bash an enemy with this. Liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohot itself. So I should blow up the tanks. That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today, 
so the hangers can can the frame rate be this good the whole time or is it only gonna be for right now so what do i do after i set the c3 no this is a tree bombs run off a timer once the timer has been set the countdown will begin when the timer reaches zero the bombs will all go off at once how long do i have 20 minutes once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Oh, anyways, about the... Sh oh, we're still in a cutscene. I forget. The uh, did you pauses. get the data on the Shagahod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? But I haven't forgotten my other mission either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. I hope it's one of those singing ladders they have around here. It's so confusing when uh, girls like when Snake. You went to Sokolov? <laughs> Whichever there was Snake. A door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohad's hangar. What's wrong? Use this key to open that door. It's sound complicated. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have- I don't know ways. how. There's not a man yeah. alive who can resist my charms. Uh. Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. Wow. It's not easy to explain myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. Good what catch. did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me. What the hell does that mean? Yes, yeah, someone might find out that Snake is here. I got a picture of him. <laughs> what? You're gonna get wet again. I love when I only get off the bike when I fall in love or when I'm dead. Fall dead. But doesn't she have like a job? <laughs> We've seen her. We've seen her at at her job. It was a metaphor, Keith. Come on. But then what does it mean to get off the bike? In the metaphor, getting off the bike means, means like not to, ever like, getting back on it? Yeah. Um, Hubba Puff says, uh, I haven't watched you play this game yet, but the writing in these scenes is giving me whiplash. Yeah, that's kind of the uh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid experience. That will it, it rapidly oscillates between like multiple states of like really fun, sharp kind of action movie style writing, really like campy, goofy action movie style writing, uh, really bad video game style writing. And then the last one is uh, surprisingly insightful political commentary. Yeah. <laughs> the the rarest but most welcome of the yeah. modes. Yeah. Um, but it also, you know, it all kind of seems like, it doesn't seem like a mistake. It seems like um, 
like yeah i don't know just see it seems like what if we made a game that was like had bizarre oscillating tones for fun pretty much yeah maybe it's a mistake maybe kojima can't like do it all the time you know like get it right 100 percent and that getting it wrong in the right kind of way is is why he's been so successful wait uh Can I not get any extra info about these things here? Oh, okay. Weapons. Uh. Oh. Huh. So I think if we got in this box in the right place, we would actually get shipped to the weapons lab. Oh. But I don't. Okay, we, let's do that. No, we don't want that. Oh, why not? I think we already were there. No, we want to go to the weapons lab to blow it up, right? I think we're already at the weapons lab. Well, then I'll, have to I'll take a look. There. Okay. I should be like using these things. Uh, yeah, one of the important things about Snake as a character is that uh, Kojima's obsessed with him, I think. That's what I read into it. I think that Kojima, like, fell in love with yeah. Solid Snake. And so he has to, like, fill the game with characters who are falling in love with Snake all the time. Because <laughs> that's just, like, his, like, how he feels people should react <laughs> to Snake. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Probably don't need these right now. Ooh, the Colt single action army, the greatest handgun ever made. Since I haven't played this game and I've only watched you play it, it's funny because I like really don't know how the menus work or like why you're ever doing anything in the inventory like this. It, like I can see that you're equipping and unequipping yeah. things, but you just clicked on so many things. And the, the menus also don't read very well. Like it was, some mm. of them are black and white, but I always forget which one means it's equipped and which one means it's not equipped. Yeah. Weirdly black is equipped, right? Yeah. Do you have a plan here? Uh, I just want to take... <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about... <laughs> fuck you. Is the fork important? No. The fork was just the... We just didn't have our knife for a little while until a second ago. So the fork was there as our, our most available weapon. Yeah, our uh, off again, off again girlfriend had to give us back yeah. our bag full of stuff. Uh, oh, failed parachute says the fork allows snake to instantly eat animals without going into menus. <gasps> Whoa, convenient. Pretty cool. And I'll just check that map. How's that map looking? Okay, never mind. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Cool. C box B. C box B. That's my favorite book as a kid. Yeah, it's like 
C box. The sequel to C spot run. C box and C box, C -box B. B. Yeah, that sounds about right. And away we go. Um, you're recording, right? Yeah. How Snake gets his bandana so flowy. Probably some sort of special product, military. Yeah. Uh oh. Right? This ought to be good. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. But it's just there it is. Um well, What's up, Solid Snakes? David Hater. David Hater. Yeah. Uh here's you know what the you know what uh, Konami should do with this franchise? What? Is uh they should take the the Sega route with the Yakuza games and just make some like AU <laughs> AU Metal Gear games where they put Snake in different genres for no reason. Get David Hayter back to do Ooh. it. You're gonna see Snake doing some sci fi stuff? Put him in space. Get David Hayter, put him in space. Well, they. No, I mean, they'd have to bring. You know, they'd have to. Dig David Hater back up from his shallow grave. They Did put he die? in before uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh right, okay, sure. Because he was stabbed in the back to death. Yeah, he was Kojima. stabbed in the back to death by Kojima. You're saying this voice isn't timeless? Game characters can't sound like this in 2024. What? Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Did you not see the dog? God. No. Okay. What are you even shooting at? You, they're shooting at you. They don't, they can't see me. It's called suppressing fire. <gasps> huh. The dog could see you, and, and when the dog can see you, it means everyone can see you. Did you hear the noise? Aww. Come on. I see him. He, sa he saw you. He heard my sonar. Oh, yeah, they can do that. That's a fun touch. Yeah, I think this is the move. I think you just run. Just keep running. Get into the back of this truck, huh? Oh, that seems like it was I don't think it's nice when you kill the dogs. 
No, but what else am I supposed to do? Adopt them. <laughs> Ooh. Look, someday I'm gonna be awesome at Metal Gear, but it's not today. It'll just take one or two more Metal Gear games. Yeah. Well, the, I think the surprising thing is how much worse you've gotten with each successive game. Well, they get harder. They just get harder each time. Is that true? Yeah. Is it the game that gets harder or the way that they're asking you to play it gets harder? What's the difference? Um, Metal Gear 1, it's like a lot of like tight hallways and corridors. And then 2 kind of opens it up and there's some big rooms. And then three is mostly outside, and I think that uh, by by wanting to take advantage of the technology to have bigger spaces, uh, it directly runs up against what Metal Gear does as a as a game. And then the commitment to realism, where. Uh, you know, they don't just forget about you after five seconds, and instead you have to, like, go through the, like, alert caution evasion well, or the, evasion caution thing. Those were all in the first one, though. Right, but, but in a game where there's so many more enemies and so many more opportunities to be spotted, it really highlights how long you must wait for, for them to forget about you. Where am I going? could use your codec uh, they know about alligators they probably know about directions snake you've got to destroy the shago hod it's located in the hangar in the main wing of the weapons lab to get into the hangar use the door just inside the main wing as you enter it from the I second floor we... of the east wing start out by heading to the east wing of the weapons uh... lab I think if we get into that truck when the caution is done and we're in the cardboard box for the weapons lab hangar, I think we'll get shipped there. Okay, let's do it. I think that that would be fun to do. Me too. Very talented army girl. He can even, he's so good at crawling, he can crawl under stuff he doesn't even really fit under. <laughs> he just clips right through it. Yeah, clipping through stuff is high level army training. They don't teach you that. You have to go through most of uh, Men Who Stare at Goats to learn about clipping yeah. through stuff. Snake had to stare at a lot of goats yeah. before he could do this. So what ha what is I the mean, what is the what somebody, is the function of caution? Somebody in the chat said, "Do you guys want hints?" And you said, "It's okay, we don't need hints." I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. We need well because all we, the hints. Normally, we, we just look it up online. I think I think they meant, "Do you want hints?" Like, <laughs> well, like, I just like don't want to get the wrong hints. I mean, look, you're the one playing. You could get. I thought that the hint was like where to go, which we just found out. Yeah, I guess don't tell us where to go. Yeah, tell us. General game tips are totally fine. Yeah, game tips. Jailbox is hint, don't be seen. Yeah, that is that is like the main one I think oh. Kyle has struggled with. Oh. Keeps getting seen. That, ma that makes a lot of sense. 
I'm gonna do that. Understood. Return to your position. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Sick. Nice. The main wing hanger, huh? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Main wing hanger. Come on. Let's go. Hey, someone cut eye holes in this legitimate gear in this box of gear.